Hey everybody, X Jordy. When X here, and I just want to show you some old tools that I uh, took out of circulation. You can't just hang every tool up. So in no particular order, we have some of the stuff is um, mixed in. So we got the old ruler. That's cool, right? We have another one. This one broke, and that's a new one or a newer one. The last ten years or so. I got some vintage hammers. Like I said, some of this stuff is brand new. This is Stanley. This is a newer one. It's my father's. That was around the house. This has no name. This is top heavy. I'm just gonna go through this real quick. This is Stanley. That's an older one. You can tell by the head. It had a sticker on it. Uh, you, you kill someone with this. I, I mean, it's taped for a reason. <laughs> Smaller one. Just the way different they would made differently. Ooh, this one has seen better days. That's oof, the one with the nail in it. Those are cool. This one's not that heavy. No name on this one. Oh. Brushing it, brushing it. Another Stanley with the same old head. And now we're getting into the older ones. These are just, just like, who knows if any of these built houses. Another older one. Sorry. Again, I'm looking at the ca the, the, the hammer, not the camera. This is probably the oldest one. This, this wood is like dried up. No name. Oh, it has a name. Can't make it out. Oh, let me stand up before I shit my pants. Let me see if I can make it out. Plus, or something, USA. But, oh my god, everybody, it's hammers. Some uh, levels. I just won't bore you with, you know, taking them out, but small level, small wooden corkscrew. Obviously, the plastic one is new. The red one is old. Oh, fuck me. Fuck me. Some levels and old flat, uh, what do you call it? Rulers. Those rulers have been around my family forever. Oh, God. Oh, ah. oh I'm getting too old for this shit. Mm, again. Stuff is mixed in. I'm going to put this on the tripod to get a better angle. Okay. Let's see what we got here. Ooh. I don't know. Pocket puller. That sounds obtrusive. Window screen. Older one with metal. Uh, old razor blade stuff. Another old, that's plastic. Something, anything in here is, uh, anything with a wooden handle is old, I guess. Older. Oh, okay, pawn broke that. <laughs> this is something vodka. Cool. Uh, again, there was something here that said Harbor Freight on it that was old. Oh, it's over here. It's actually being used. It's in circulation. Let me show you guys this. Like I said, probably seen thousands of them. Let me get in on that. Focus, focus. Well, oh, trust me. There you go. I actually still use it for, you know, to take off the inspection stickers. This says Arrow. This is something that says Superior. Made in England. I don't know what this fucking thing is. Oh, that looks like a... Oh, that's fucking sick, huh? You guys can see that. It's like a pin. 
with a roller, glass cutter of some sort in it. Oof. It's made in England. A couple other stupid things. Nothing worth uh, writing home about. Put this here. Okay, some planers. Speed grit sander. Put something in sander in there and it's up to that. Speed grit sander, a smaller one. Obviously you put the sandpaper, I think, because this is like rubber. Can't imagine it. This is a planer. Ow. When you plane something down or something. Everyone always has one of these little things. Two little rivets. Saw. This is the jack of all things. I have one of these. I think I have it at home. It was my father's. Um, this thing brings back a lot of memories. Not this particular one. I don't see it here. Again, a lot of my father's tools are still at my mother's house. And these are my grandfather's tools. My father had one of these then with a red handle, and I don't know what it was. Correct me if I'm wrong. There's always things in your life that trigger things. Psychologists or psycholo psych psychologists, whatever. They always say that we have like these little pockets of memories. Five years old, 20, 50, whatever. We can't remember everything. But you could, sometimes you won't remember what you had for dinner. But at six years old, you can remember as little Joey was playing with this. I remember this design. I couldn't ever imagine using it today. Like, where would you ever find a screw that wouldn't jump, jump at, you know? But this stuff, no name. Actually, there is a name. It's all gridded out. Something, something patent. This, oh, it actually works. And then you pop this out and move this for the different head. Oh, this is a pick that's missing the pick. <laughs> and this is going to go fast. Uh, flathead, wooden flathead, not so, not so flat. Plastic, anything plastic is not worth it. Another wooden flathead. Stanley, I guess Stanley was, this is called the Yankee Northern... Uh, North something something Philadelphia. Again, the flatheads are all crap. This is plastic. This is a knife of some sort. Pretty cool. Rubber and brand new. Wood. It's like all wood. Like number th two. Like patent. Fillet fillets. Like stubby with rubber. Nothing. This fucking thing could kill somebody with this. Always saw ultra manufacturer company in New York City. Like, like you could fuck, like this is something out of a saw movie. It's like wooden handle, flathead. Like, listen, little things like that fixed a, a wobbly door handle. You went to your wherever and you put it in and you fixed it. Now everything is rubber. Oh, look at this. This is big. That's what she said. This is old and crooked. Somebody jammed that. Wooden handle. Old tin snips with the lock on the bottom. <coughs> um, ice pick of some sort or so-and-so. Uh, you hit it into wood. an old knife that was well Stanley you just have the knife there's nothing here back when you could actually have the knife like in your pocket and you want to kill yourself or a child wouldn't be like oh what's this no no look at this little hammer it has a groove so it fit in something like this you know which is new and you would just Joey what are you doing down there Wooden handle. Notice that nothing is made in Taiwan, huh? 
Yep, that other red thing must be at my father's house, which is fine. Just gonna give you a shot of this and wrap it up. Wrap it up. I'll wrap it. Oh, look, that I made a previous video. Huh. So that's really everything. Everything is wooden, handled, some old stuff, dikes, you know, you don't use. Some plastic stuff. This was a big hit somewhere. I might. Everyone has these, and these are all the the bits. See the like the wings, wings that sits in the shaft. Look at this thing. Like, how do you throw that out? Excuse me. How do you throw this out? You'll never need it. You'll maybe hit it with a wire brush, but how do you how do you throw it out? And that's the planer that my father used. I must have took it. So these are some vintage tools. Got nothing. Probably gonna wrap up this series, but. I really got nothing. That toolbox has uh, Christmas or power strips in it. That's a circular saw. That's the drill you see in my previous uh, videos back in the day. There's the halogen lights. There's the blower from fucking five years ago. There's the uh, air compressor. Some tools, drills. This is my setup. Obviously, these things go in there. And there's some tools here. Here's a planer, uh, a drill I fixed. Plug this in to my uh, search engine. This is, I think, Jay's. Made its way here. An extra chuck, old light, shims. This little zipper here. Never use it. Old uh, uh, brush. Oh, thank you. Old stapler. This is cool. These are the old staplers where you just like put the paper in. Uh, it reminds me of an old florist when they wrapped the uh, so-and-so. I've had this forever. It makes, you know, it reams out things. There's the drill bits. There's the relevant. There's a sander. There's electric starters, which are electric starters. There's some vintage stuff in the back. That's batteries. Just showing everybody. Sometimes people like to see cool things There's some cool stuff back here oh that's just a lock from back in the day nothing fancy like a big door lock you can't you know old brass fittings this, is, this box is pretty cool screw anchors you almost like, how the fuck does this work? But I guess you put it in and this opens. I don't even want to test it. Maybe this piece. Me. There you go. Read that. <laughs> Read that. So that's about it with the vintage stuff, give or take. I might have missed some stuff. It's my basement. You got rubber and you know, whatever. But, uh, oh yeah, some. This is Jay's. This is my father's. These are jigsaws. That's the old plans for the sprinklers. There's definitely a video of that. Dude, I've been on YouTube for how many years now? Like, you have so many videos. I'm gonna wrap this up with some of my grandmother's stuff. Saved a lot of her books. I don't know if anything's worth any money because you gotta pretty much just. You know, not this stuff, but, you know, I don't know. This is the way she kept all her books. This way it wouldn't, you know. I mean, Jesus, like you move, a, like, I don't even know. <laughs> Death in the air, like, is that worth anything? No, I'm not looking for thousands of dollars. I'm just saying these are books, like, from my grandmother's era, and there's the old... I never used it on meat yet. The, you know, obviously this is, I don't know why there's vacuum pieces. <laughs> there's the, the meat thing. Yeah. See, see, you touch like, so uh, that's it, man. Everything else is vintage. Travel iron, whatever. If you want to see anything, let me know. Coffee pot, coffee pot upstairs, the big gallon, 35 copper. 
Hey, like and subscribe. I've wasted your time long enough. Thanks for watching. If you watched all 15 minutes, hit like and subscribe, like I said, and let's keep this fucking YouTube channel going. Thank you in advance.